uh, John Lawler is my name, and I was the contingent leader for the Irish contingent to the 22nd World Scout Jamboree in Sweden in 2011. This is a new experience, it was quite cool, you know, um, the Irish contingent was ran quite well, um, we were one of the biggest contingents there, and, and probably the loudest, and all that. so it was, it was good to be part of the Irish contingent. Everybody supported each other because I remember one time we were on Jamboree and we were having problems in our troop and there was members like of the Irish contingent that were there to support everybody that was in the troop. I think of uh, tremendous memories and um, friendships made forever and uh, a really fantastic time. I think about uh, all the crack we had on the fall leaves camp in the airport and on the bus on the way there and all the way we were the talking at Jamboree, everybody was looking for our nickels and we really was the famous people there and everybody was looking for us. I, I think with, with a great sense of pride of the way they presented uh, at the Jamboree, I remember we challenged the young people that they should bring their best game to the Jamboree and boy did they do that, it was absolutely wonderful. When we first met, we didn't know each other and they were very nasty, we were very good friends. The morning dances we did with our leader Peter, he taught us some really cool, uh, like, fun, wicked dances like the Boogaloo. How they all came together over the duration, from the preparation right through the Jamboree, and uh, even afterwards now they're all still very much in contact with each other. Different types of personalities, like, some of the lads, um, he bought a hat and then a little small ukulele, and then um, they're basically busking on the street for a crack, like, so... trying to get your true patrol to do what they were asked to do. But once you got everyone coordinated, it was fine. The sleep deprivation while cleaning out buckets of sick and uh, puking scouts and adults all around us, that was pretty good. Uh, having to say goodbye to all the friends that you made um, from it, it was very good. And then uh, after two weeks, and then bonding with them, you don't have to say goodbye, and it was tough. Definitely coming home and leaving everybody. Probably the realization that just it was going by in a heartbeat, and that two years of planning and anticipation and looking forward to it was just, as I say, trying to drag me feet to, to slow the whole experience down. It was absolutely magical, and then wondering how would I ever get home to a reality, a normality after the fantastic time I had on the jamboree. And um, my best memory of the World Scout Jamboree. Um, was the camping camp. Just sitting in the tent with my two friends, Emma and Laura, chatting away to the Americans from Oregon <laughs> and uh, just getting to know them and making friends. Uh, getting to meet other people and uh, how they live their lives in, uh, back in their own countries. Um, maybe the best day was uh, the intercultural day as well. We got to see their, their different foods and how they dressed and how the environment was back in their, uh, their home countries and how they um, were intrigued by our, the, Irish, the Irish way of life. I have loads, but I think the best memory I had with my troop was we used to, every night we used to gather around the campfire and we used to have this thing called a kint, which was where the conch, where we'd pass it, everyone had, we had a candle and everyone had to say one thing they had done or learned or just had fun with for the day. So it was just really nice to hang out at the end of the day and chill out. So I think that's the best memories I have from it. It's hilarious. probably the Irish house because you can go there and meet everybody from Ireland because it's just kind of like a central gathering place. It's really handy to have and uh, it reminds you to go home so it's a good place to see everyone. Didn't really organise out meet anyone there but it just happened so it was great. Really camping camp because I had such a brilliant time with everybody and everybody just got along really well and got to know one of my leaders really well as well so it was a brilliant time. Yeah. The spontaneous programme because uh, you were basically able to do whatever you wanted with your own ability, like you weren't going off your own activities with your patrol, what you didn't like, and then you had the opportunity to bring the younger members to different to different like activities themselves that they wanted to do. The new friendship and uh, good times we had with some The people I met there and all the friends I made, all the thousands of people that go there, meeting new people and creating friendships around the world. 
I really kind of felt the unity mainly at the flash mob, I think was the main thing for everyone. When you got to see basically all of the green, that would be my highlight anyway. And then the Irish house as well, definitely throughout the entire thing, I don't think there was any stage where there wasn't one nearly full troop in there, just made of Irish scouts. It was really like, I think at another level, people talk about bonding with different countries and cultures, but at the same time, one of the I think of myself, one of the main people I got, one of the main groups I got to know were other Irish scouts and people from around Ireland that realistically I can communicate with easier again than people from other countries, and I think that benefited me hugely as a result of German right. I felt like being part of a team, um, big team, eight hundred people, and um, we sort of uh, a team that was there to represent. Uh, Ireland and to do our best and I uh, think we did that. I was proud to be Irish, there was a lot of different nationalities there and a lot of colour. I just felt good to be Irish to show that you were Irish and then to view other people's colours and their nations as well. I actually honestly did and I just wrote on a post outside that the friendships that I've made, like they're friendships that will last forever and it's not only friendships that I've made with people from Ireland but from so many different countries and it's great because I still talk to a lot of them by email and Facebook and it was great the way we had a meal together and we found out that even people from different countries like Luxembourg and Sweden and Switzerland they were just the same as us and they were enjoying the scouting experience the way we were but in a different way as well because they're from a different country. Yeah, we took 26 uh, young people away with me and uh, by the end of the two year experience uh, I would hope that they are all now good friends of mine and um, they definitely uh, made my jamboree uh, a pleasure. Uh, it's about more friends to everybody in my troop who I initially didn't like and now uh, pretty close, pretty much best mates, uh, friends for life all over the country. Just pretty amazing experience. And it was it was really nice talking to people from different cultures who had different views um, of situations around the world. Um, and it was funny hearing stories that about places I've never been to and I really want to visit. I have to say that I made close on 800 friends, all of which were Irish. It was an unbelievable occasion to travel to another country and really get to know most of the 800 participants. To get a sense from them of being Irish sense of friendship that they brought with them from the country, especially in the economic climate that we're in, and how together all of the economy projected a great country, a loving country, and a country that can certainly move forward and get out of the situation.